Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create and add shapes inside of GIMP. So if you've ever seen Photoshop and you wanted to use the tools that they have to basically stamp in shapes, that's actually not available in GIMP, unfortunately. However, I have two really good alternatives to that that you can use as a substitute. So first off, uh, the Paths tool is really good for creating hard-edged shapes because you basically just create a series of points with the path tool and then you can easily fill that in with any shape you want. So for instance, if I click here to add a point, click down here to add another point, and maybe we want to create a trapezoid, so I'll create another point down here and a point up there, and finally connect that last point to the first point by hitting control click, we've basically created ourselves a rough trapezoid shape. Now we can adjust the points by clicking on a point and dragging it out until we get it looking basically how we want it to look. And once we have that shape created, we can go over to the paths window over here, right click it and choose path to selection. Once we have that selection made, we go to a new layer and we fill that in with the paint bucket tool. So you see the selection, we fill that in here. I'm gonna make it orange just for kicks. That's how you would create a basic shape using the path tool. Now, of course, unfortunately, you're going to be prone to human error if you do it like this, and you don't spend a tremendous amount of time making it perfect. So as an alternative, you can actually just go onto any search engine like Google or DuckDuckGo and grab any shape you want. So if you want, you can just put in sun shape PNG or trapezoid shape PNG or star shape PNG, whatever you're looking for. You'll get so many results, you can almost certainly find what you're looking for. And the reason we make it a PNG is PNG images, if you don't know already, can support transparency. So if we click on some of these and actually open them up, what you'll notice is that there is this checkered background, and that means that that area is transparent. So if we were actually to save this image to our computer, like I've already done, and drag it into GIMP, the white area that would normally be there in a JPEG image is going to be made transparent. So the only thing we're actually bringing in is the color of the shape itself. So now, with the shape inside of GIMP, we can just put it wherever we want, change to a fill bucket tool, and make it white if we want, just by filling in those solid colors. So once we've brought a shape in from the internet as a PNG, we can just manipulate it, change its size, whatever we need to do inside of GIMP, and put it in your GIMP images. So that's going to be it on this quick tutorial on how to create and add shapes inside of GIMP. I hope you found it useful. I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future video content.